It is all about seeking justice for those who are oppressed by the structures in society, abused by those who seek only money and material gain and neglected by a world which is increasingly about I instead of we. As Christians, we believe in a merciful, loving, kind God who is just, holy, and righteous. Psalm 89 says, Righteousness and justice are the foundation of your throne. Steadfast love and faithfulness go before you. Justice and righteousness are who God is. He sets the standard for justice. And pursuing biblical justice means that we must follow God's way to make right that which is wrong. It is clear that we are called to do justice. We are called to act, to confront evil, to care for the vulnerable. Isaiah says, seek justice, correct oppression, bring justice to the fatherless and plead the widow's cause. If we are to be truly following our calling as the church, these things should be part and parcel of our every day. This includes the children and young people and families of our diocese who are loved by God but often don't know that love for themselves. Food banks, baby bundles, dad's groups, opportunities for young mums and dads to learn new skills. These are all part and parcel of helping people to thrive. Of course, we mustn't forget our prayer that we should see lives reconciled to God and transformed by that same love that we know so well ourselves. But in doing justice, we share that love and move people a step closer to encountering God. The Children, Youth and Family Strategy... Um, is now available on YouTube. The five steps of that strategy are to prepare, to plant, to grow, to nourish, and to harvest. And a big part of the work that is being done in our diocese falls into that planting section, that planting and that nourishing. But there are other areas that we're missing out on, so we do need to work on those. But do have a conversation with me about the strategy. The following film is a, just a snapshot of some of the things that are already happening in our diocese. I know that there is much more happening, and I apologise to anybody that I've not managed to get in, but it's just enough to give you a flavour. A short video from the Centres of Mission, Plant Dairy, including the Growing Hope Project, and from the Diocesan Pilgrimage that happened this year. Enjoy. <laughs> I'd like to thank Plant Dowry for all the support over the last six years. The runners of the Young Parents Group, Karis and Vicky, have been a massive support to me and my family for a long time now. They've been through a few house moves <laughs> um, and my current journey through postnatal depression. I was over the moon when the group started at Pembroke Dock a few years back as I did move back to my hometown. I really love that there's no pressure to attend group when I'm having a, a down day or I'm genuinely busy with work. 
if I'm not attending, either Karis or Vicky will always check in to see if me and my girls are okay and if we need anything. Whilst at group, we always have fun, fun things to do. My most favourite is crafting. I don't really get to do a lot of this at home. But I love it when we do the painting with the babies and paint their little toes for cards and things like that. That really is something that I hold close to my heart. But even if we don't feel like doing anything and some mums are just having an off day, there's no pressure to do anything. Just sit and talk and have a cuppa, which sometimes, like myself, is all anyone needs when they're battling things in their own head. I've attended other baby groups, <clears throat> but I've never felt so in place and comfortable as I do in the young parents group. I wouldn't have gotten through some of the darkest some of my darkest days if I didn't have the support of Karis and Vicky. Another thing that's really helped me whilst I've been short for money is the baby bundles. I've been gifted a few times now with clothes and toiletries for my children and will be eternally grateful for that. I think sometimes as a mum it's really embarrassing to admit when you need a little bit of help but it, you're never made to feel uncomfortable, you're never made like it's not belittling as it would be anywhere else. Um, just wanted to say a massive thank you to Plant Dairy from the bottom of my heart because I will always, always be grateful for everything that you've done for me. The project, uh, uh, the garden plot here, um, is full of vegetables and fruit and produce that we've been putting together over the last six months. Uh, it's a community garden with a focus on uh, the dads getting together and uh, just planting stuff that we can produce and maybe take a little home or replicate at home as well. So it's about sharing skills, learning together and uh, just building memories. Predominantly down uh, here we've been um, using the project to support fathers and their kids. Uh, it's been lovely to have a place that's been outdoors and uh, with all the restrictions etc we've still managed to get together and spend time uh, doing stuff, craft, activities, planting. Uh, growing stuff and learning from one another, so predominantly for fathers and kids. I'm Robert and I've been involved in the project for a number of years. I found it quite interesting to come over and take part in the gardening project, uh, meeting people and seeing the satisfaction of seeing some of the produce produced and handing it to and sharing it with other people. I find these projects very important because it brings people together and also uh, share new skills and a sense of uh, just socialising and getting together. My name's Tom, I've been involved in the project now for about a year and a half. Uh, I've been coming down here with my little boy and planting different uh, produce. Uh, I have planted recently in the last few weeks uh, over here, I have planted some uh, onions. Uh, they are probably ready next spring. Um, you have mint over to your right and strawberries growing over to your left. We have different beds here of mainly just herbs. And over this section, like I said, you've got onions and lettuces growing over in that section. Uh, I'd like to say a big thank you. Uh, because if, you know, it wasn't here, you know, even though there'd still be other things to do outside of Plant Dowie, uh, it's nice to look forward to something every week. Yeah, I think especially at this time, outdoor activities have been quite um, hard to get hold of because a lot of stuff has shut down over the current pandemic. So to actually have a place where people can still go and do stuff, spend time in nature. It's a very quiet environment down here. It's very relaxing uh, and peaceful. So actually to be able to spend time and chat outdoors and actually achieve something has been very valuable, yeah. <laughs> hey Mike, how are I'm you? I am kind of contemplative, which if anyone knows me at all is not what one of the words that I would describe. Ah, why but, uh, are you contemplative? Com contemplative. contemplative. Um, or contemplative. I would agree I am, with contemplative. I am contempl thinking because... <laughs> Um, I've loved actually seeing God move in young people's lives, having a day where we really experience the Holy Spirit 
in a powerful way that um, I love youth work. I've uh, have so much time and respect and uh, excitement about people who get excited about doing youth work. I'm very enthusiastic. I love just the enthusiasm and bubble. But actually, we saw Jesus meet young people. We saw Jesus meet them, change their lives, and potentially change a whole generation for the better. And so I was thinking about that. Uh, first thing is, what's your favourite thing of the week been? Uh, personally, I think my favourite part of this week was the second time we went to St Non's where we had uh, Neil and Mike's testimony because I felt that changed my perception on Christianity in a positive way and then the healing at the well afterwards. I think that was one of the best parts. That's really good, thank you. And. Um, the healing at the well was quite an emotional time, wasn't it? Yeah. For all of us, I think. Um, were you expecting that this week? No, I didn't expect to feel anything this week, to be honest. Okay. Just came to have some fun. Have some fun. Yeah. I don't think any of us really expected what happened <laughs> no. on Wednesday. It was pretty awesome, wasn't it? Yeah. Pretty awesome. Um, so expectations of the pilgrimage were to have some fun. Has that happened? Have you had some fun? Oh, yeah, I've had so much fun. I've made, like, friends with Rachel. I've made friends with Morgan. I think, yeah, no, it, it was worthwhile. And I think I will come next year. Wonderful. That's good. And um, has there been anything you haven't liked? Um, I think the only thing is, is that I'm quite a solitary person. So being with other people 24-7 for a week has been a bit challenging but i think that's you know part of character development so that's it's really been good. good and bad in that respect yeah okay and would you would you encourage other people to come next year yes i would even if you don't believe in christianity or you don't have a religion you should come to see other people's point of view and maybe you might learn a few things that's really good. Thank you. And Morgan, you've already spoken to me a little bit this week, but what has been your best part of the week? My favourite part was probably when we all went to the beach because it was all like a, a bit of fun, a bit of laugh. Like we all we all got along, along and we had a good game around us. So, yeah, that was probably my favourite. Brilliant. And uh, have you made some friends this week? Yeah, I've I've been friends with Nai, yeah. uh, Liam, and <laughs> and this person sat next to me whose name I can't remember. Excellent. <laughs> and um, you said you've had some spiritual experiences this week, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to talk a little bit about that, or not really? No, not really. Not really, okay. Fair enough. But you it's safe to say you've had a good week and you've felt some stuff that perhaps you wouldn't yeah. have done before, yeah? Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> well, thank you both for talking to me and I'm hoping that you're both going to come back next year and like, we'll see you again soon. Yeah. Oh. Say bye to the camera. Bye, bye. camera. <laughs>